What's up, internet? Usong-uso ngayon maging streamer and what's not to like, right? Basically, you're just playing games all day. Pero kung kausapin may mga professional streamers, palagi silang stressed. From having to have a different persona online, to toxic fans, to keeping your viewership up, daming kailangan isipin outside of the game to be a professional streamer. Gano ba siya kadali or gano ba siya kahirap? Pero yung sobrang dali is to buy a Windows 10 CD key from our sponsor, I know because I buy from them all the time. Bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finish. May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, check out cdkeyoffers.com we wanted to get a small taste of the streaming life, so we asked our intern Manoobs Manoobs, currently an intern at Hardware Sugar to stream for 5 hours a day for 5 days straight. They told me to stream for 5 days. And that's really nothing compared to professional streamers that basically sit at their desk for 12 hours or more. Hey, overall, the experience was pretty good. My friends were there, they were very supportive. Okay, I just, I'm just gonna play. Don't really feel the grind. In the early days, okay pa si Manoobs. I don't watch a lot of streamers, but I like his voice. Very authoritative, relaxed, and calm. Just the same as yesterday. Today, I decided to try a different game. More like a colony builder. There, there was a lower viewer count today, and chat was not as active. Matt, uh, like, get affected by whether your chat is active or not. It's just, just focus on whatever game you're playing in. This is actually not gameplay footage of Manoobs because when I went back to Twitch to get the videos, it was deleted. This, this is also part of being a streamer, like, you're watching FPS footage and what's not to like about FPS footage? Barilan, you know, there's a lot of action. But what if you're the kind of streamer that wants to stream smaller games, not AAA FPS games, will you find an audience? Today was the same as yesterday, three viewers today. Every day, I'm playing a different genre. How that choice would affect like viewer count. Overall, stream was fun. Uh, it's just, again, it's just me playing video games. I don't really mind. It. I guess that's where the grind comes in. I'm starting to feel it a little bit, kind of feeling it. I'm still treating it as just me enjoying a video game and sharing my experience with other people. So I don't see it as a hassle. So Manoobs mentions two things, the grind and viewer count. Yung grind, grabe talaga siguro yun because as a pro streamer, you need to be online constantly. Playing the same games, playing the same levels, doing the same things over and over and over again. Tapos yung obsession sa viewer count, I can sympathize with this kasi medyo ganun din ako sa YouTube namin. And it's really an unhealthy obsession. I, I admit it, I I'm not well. <laughs> Because I'm obsessed with getting up to 100k subs so I can get our silver play button. Today's my fourth day of streaming. I'd say overall it went well. Not much viewers came, not, not much uh, activity in the chat. For the grind, I would say I'm slowly feeling it now. Every day that I stream, I want to be like, I want to achieve something more. Even I find it difficult to not look at the stats. Real time in the chat, they can tell you that you suck or that, you know, you're not fun to watch or you're corny or grabe siguro yung stress from the metrics. There's always the constant pressure to get more, more views, more subs, more followers. It's never enough. Today was my last day of streaming. Basically, same thing again. And to answer the question if streaming is difficult, yes, it's it's very difficult, especially if you don't have a following, people who admire your content. So yeah, you really need to get out there and make a name for yourself. At the end, medyo okay para man si Manoobs, but he seems a little sadder or parang di siya ganun ka cheerful. Di ko lang kung pagod lang siya sa last video kasi medyo nag back to back siya from day 4 and day 5. He does mention the grind. He sort of mentions that more often towards the end of his 5-day streaming marathon. So this video wasn't meant as a how-to guide on how to stream, but I was just really interested more in the mental state. How easy or hard is it to jump into a regular streaming schedule? 
And uh, ako, ako talaga hanga ako sa mga professional streamers. Hats off to those guys. That's one of the great things about streaming. You don't know what to expect. You don't know when. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. Dejok lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.